Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. My name is Latin. I work for Amazon Web Services. I'm a senior solution architect working with our partner team. And uh, I'll be talking to you today about CDCI pipelines for .NET applications in CodeStar. Um, so what's so special about CodeStar? Uh, we'll get onto it in just a second. Uh, first things first, we just published a uh, .NET Core chatbot application. Um, so if you look at the link in the middle of the screen, please go to it. Um, you will see a uh, .NET application that we built that takes advantage of Amazon Lex, which is our Alexa service, or Alexa uses it, uh, AWS Lambda, uh, Amazon Cognito Identity Service. Uh, and um, and in, with all of that, um, it actually allows you to either um, um, use your GitHub or use Code Commit, which is basically our Git, if you're not familiar with it, um, and then use uh, our services like um, Code Pipeline uh, to orchestrate all of that uh, with Code Deploy and Code Build um, um, as part of that orchestration. Um, so what is CodeStar? Well, um, all of these things that I've mentioned early on, these are all stages in development um, that they start off from uh, source uh, to build, to test, and deploy. And what does CodeStar do? It simplifies all of this. It pre-creates this entire uh, pipeline for you uh, based on just a um, few things. And just you just need to let it really know where your source code is um, and a few other parameters. Um, it also uh, teaches you through the stage of actually using it on how to configure it, how to configure each of the uh, services uh, for, um, uh, for the CDCI pipeline itself, as well as how to configure your development environment. It manages software development in, in, and delivery itself in one place. Um, it works across your team securely, and uh, you can choose from a variety of project templates that are available uh, for you. Um, and I will show you that in a demo shortly. So what does it look like once everything is created? Well, basically, it creates, uh, once again, a code pipeline, which is our orchestration tool. Um, it takes advantage of uh, either um, GitHub or code commit. Um, then it uses code build uh, for actual uh, building of the application as well as testing the application, and then uses code, de uh, code deploy to go ahead and deploy all of that. Um, now um, I'm going to show you a demo um, on how very easily you can configure all of this um, specifically for .NET web applications, but you also see a template for .NET web services. Um, and uh, we'll see how end-to-end -end we're going to create an application um, and deploy it. And bear in mind that you can just substitute your own code uh, in this case and deploy your own code the same way through all of our services. Um, you'll be able to integrate into Jira, um, integrate um, in, in besides integrating to all of our services and GitHub, um, and you'll be able to see all of that in a unified dashboard right in front of you. So now I'm going to show you how to use CodeStar. Uh, one of the things to note is um, you need to uh, make sure that um, you are logged in using an IAM user. Uh, the federation um, uh, does not work in case of using things like uh, um, uh, code commits and so on. Um, so so uh, make sure that you are logged in as IAM user when you do this. So we will go to CodeStar. Here we go. We'll type it into search, and it's going to show us a whole bunch. So let's see all the cool things we can do with CodeStar and how it can simplify uh, what we've been using so far. You can, uh, we can select here with the one C Sharp. It's actually sh going to show us the, the templates, project templates for .NET projects specifically. Um, so there's the web application and the web service. Um, for, for the purpose of this demo, we're going to go with uh, the web service. Uh, and then here we're going to give it a project name, um, which is, um, I guess we can call it a star project. And then code commit. So we're going to stick to code commit, or we can choose GitHub. And here it tells us basically what it's uh, going to do. It's going to build an um, entire pipeline um, through with code uh, pipeline itself, um, with source being the AWS code commit, build being co AWS 
code build and test, uh, then deployment via AWS code deploy, and then monitoring down by Amazon CloudWatch. And so we are about to abdicate our power to the AWS code star by saying, hey, go ahead and have the permissions to administer our resources uh, on our behalf and create all of this good stuff for us. Um, one thing to note is that you can go ahead and uh, you can edit which instance is being used, uh, which subnet and VPC is the specific one. So we're just going to stick to the default in this case. Uh, we're going to use a key pair. We're going to say, hey, we acknowledge this. Remember your key pair, you need it. If you need to access your EC2 instance, the instance where your code is going to be deployed. So the next bit is uh, you can use um, different uh, um, um, IDEs and um, you can either use command line tools, which is, you know, a go-to for a lot of us, um, Eclipse, or in our case, uh, Visual Studio. But let's not forget also AWS Cloud9, which is our new uh, in-browser IDE or Cloud IDE. Um, it's great. It's, uh, we've been using it. I really um, implore you to check it out if you have a chance. Uh, so if I click on it, I can go ahead and see instructions. And you can see here step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up uh, AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. Um, so we can assume that we've done that and we're going to skip over. And, uh, and then we're going to actually take a look at what's going on here. So what's going on is that our project is being set up as we speak. So as you can see, the project was successfully created. Um, we have an option to connect to uh, the ID, what I, which I showed you early on, uh, to confirm that we are connected. Uh, a couple of other things. Um, we do have the Cloud9 environment if you wish to use it. Um, you can actually take that off. You can see that our source uh, right now is, um, um, is um, in progress. It's taking code uh, out of code commit, uh, pushing it into code build which is in progress. If it's successful, it will actually deploy the application using code deploy uh, shortly afterwards. It will also show you here the application activity. Um, it will show you the commit history in uh, the code commit, uh, and it will allow you to integrate into JIRA, right? Which is great, uh, uh, you know, in order to have kind of complete dashboard environment. Um, here you can see, you can either click on the IDE, you can go to the source code, which is code where, where the source code is stored in our Git repository, code commit, um, build, deploy, and the pipeline itself. So literally, if I, was to, if, I, if I was to click on anything, it will take me directly to code pipeline in this case, um, or to code commit, um, or build, and it will show me the actual build that is being in progress. Um, I will see the output logs. And here it's actually showing me all the, all of the things that are being all the requirements that are being installed, uh, um, the uh, prerequisites as well as the code that is being deployed. You can add um, your entire project team. Here you can add a team member, um, or you, you can also add several different uh, extensions. Here you can see uh, that we have GitHub and uh, Jira, and look out for more extensions that we're going to be adding on um, as uh, you know in next several months. Um, and as you can see, the build has succeeded. Uh, now we are in application deployment stage. Uh, now it's uh, in the code deploy. If you actually click on the, the code deploy, uh, we'll see it that it's under progress here. Uh, we'll see the revision that we just created uh, for the new code deploy. And if anything was to happen, we'll be able to examine um, the, the logs for it as well. And as you can see, uh, the deployment succeeded. Um, and when it actually deploys, um, it actually adds a, a application endpoint here. And we can click through the application endpoint and you'll see, congratulations, you just created an ASP.NET Core web application. This is how you use uh, CodeStar uh, to create the entire CDCI pipeline, a dashboard, and deploy your application from a beginning to an end. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed what I had to show you.